Hello everybody. How are you today? Today is another day. And every day is forward to the next year. I don't like that. But what can we do? <laughs> what can we do about that? It's kind of crazy that we are just going one one way into the time. But today I would like to talk about it. It's not a like. I don't like to talk about it, but it's it's quite important because today is memorizing or remembrance day of the Holocaust. And that is not a likable uh, subject. It's a lot of hate, it's a lot of um, violence. It's still anti-Semitism. It's still going on like never before. And they warned about it. And uh, I think they thought that the solution to this getting rid of this disease, anti-Semitism, is to remember the, the Holocaust day, to remember all the Jews, six million or more Jews that suffered and died, six million. Can you fathom this number of human beings that can that are <laughs> that went into this gas chamber like cattle, like animals? How can you comprehend that number regarding the elimination of a nation? How can you comprehend? How can you grasp? How can you fathom all these rows of um, people that went straight into their death? How can you forget? How can Israel, how can anybody, how can any nation that was part of this slaughter, this... Either you were a victim or you were uh, some kind of um, collaborator with this force and we are still living with people that was contributing to that kind of destiny and Israel is um, today's miracle this phenomenon that Israel through all this holocaust this 2000 years it started way before the second and the first world war during the black ages with the seas and all this pandemic where the Jews was blame, blamed for uh, for uh, this kind of um, reason that things went wrong people had uh, what do you call this kind of word? Had the cruelty to them that they blamed the Jews for uh, all these kind of things. And I was joining a group here and I couldn't stand what he was saying about the Zionists. As if the Zionists are uh, equal equal to nazists and haters 
in whichever side you are talking about haters and killers, there you have the Zionists. They are today's Nazists in many many's mind. Today the the Zionists. I am a Zionist. I am not a Jew, but I defend Israel right. The Jewish right to get back to their home. They can live here freely. I defend that wholeheartedly. But I I want someone, some Jews back in their home. I I I want to visit them. Bless them. Lachaim. So today is Remembrance Day of the Holocaust. What we did, what we did to the Jews. It was not only the Jews, but today it's the mem memorizing all these kind of things. And still in Europe, Jews are um, are um, banned. Jews are segregated. Jews are um, hated. You can say that Israel defend herself. The many regard that as something very cruel, very wrong, because they are not used to that notion that the Jews, Israel can defend herself. <laughs> they need all the help they can have, and we pity them so much now. They pity us, I believe, because we we ended up where. Um, when they left for many, many years ago, we are in uh, retiring our intellectual, moral capacity again. And that was the um, introdu introductory time period where the acceptance for um, intolerance against Jews, against homophiles, gays, and um, against this uh, traveler, this tribe from Romania. Many of those were killed. Gays were killed. How dare people speak against gay people, against people that are wandering Jews? They were wondering all the all the time, but now that they have got their own home, home country, where their ancestors came from, now they are hated more than ever. Why? I don't know. It's kind of mind-boggling. Because it seems that we are children. We are children that haven't learned. I will defend disputing Israel's um, way of defending. I will accept that they, um, they are criticized. It's nothing about the criticism of uh, Israel's um, actions. But you see, it's, it's a lack, big lack of perspective. When people are um, criticizing Israel for the way they handle the Palestinians and the, the, the attacks from Gaza, Lebanon and uh, Syria, the build-up of uh, nuclear um, 
reactors in Iran. When people oppose, not only oppose, but in a way singling out only what the Israel government and Israel defense, Israel's defense force are doing. Not even mentioning what Palestinians are doing. Not, not whatever happened before, like, let me just mention a couple of examples here. When people are criticizing Israel for attacking Gaza and portray this situation as if Israel is attacking children with stones, they are attacking them with um, weapons from uh, if, uh, this uh, fighter, fighter planes, these drones, and against uh, Israeli f soldiers, it lacks this perspective, which is explain, which is explaining the the details. They even claim. That Israel hit a hospital in Gaza. And the other kind of, of uh, thing that they are quarreling about, <laughs> criticizing Israel for occup occupation. Occupation of what? I, I would uh, like to ans uh, ask uh, the question, what in, in uh, reality? Is Israel occupying? Well, if if it's so, we can mention the what do you call it? They call it the West Bank, and even since Israel blocked Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of funny because Israel withdrew withdrew all their kibbutzim and, and citizens from Gaza. Yet, since the war wall against Gaza, because there are so many terrorists, there are so many stabbers and terrorists, so they had to build a wall. Not only a brick wall, but also a electronic wall, and also some wire wall, because they have this intention that to kill Jews is their uttermost um, um, drive. It's it's kind of what they want to do. It's kind of regarding them, according to them, a holy act to sacrifice his or her life, even children, to kill Jews. That is, that is way, way out. And people in, in Norway, for example, people in Western countries doesn't really compute this kind of gross imagery and words. Now let me just mention one, one detail here. It's the kind of word that is called Vakf. Vakf. It's a strange word, but if you ask a Muslim or Arab, they know exactly what that is. And um, the um, 2000 years of history is also about the Muslim conquering the area where Israel is now. The Romans occupied it first and called it Philistia. This is the story. 
the Palestine is not a Palestinian name at all. <laughs> it's not even uh, they are not even uh, <laughs> ancestors of the Philist Philist Philistian. No, <laughs> um, but uh, they want to claim it, and uh, so be it. They have the right to claim whatever they are. <laughs> Yet uh, the Palestinian people are uh, native people from uh, the area around. We can mention Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and uh, Egypt. Many people from those countries ended up being called Palestine and Palestine is not only Arab it's also Jews that lived in this area before the independence of Israel so Waqf is a kind of after the after the conqueror from uh, Islam <laughs> by Muhammad he conquered Jerusalem and uh, the areas now there is a kind of a will or agreement in the, their own own terms that this land it's not the Jew hatred per se it's not the killing of the Jews is just a continuous denial of the fact that Israel is existing. I will try to put it very simple. The Waqf, the, the pure fact that Israel today is existing as a Jewish state disputes in a very grave term maybe it's the gravest term ever because this place was conquered by a war and the waqf is kind of maybe i i don't i'm not so very specific and um, precise here but um let's say it's a kind of a religious um um ruling that this land where the muslim conquered is muslims forever it's a muslim place forever so they can't accept the return of the jews and that the jews have any right to have their country back it's not it's not computing for them at all and that's the reason why it's war in this place why palestinian go to this extent to say we will have the whole country from the river to the sea which rivers Look at the map. And um, that is just an um, explanation for why it's war in the Middle East. Why they can't, why can't, why they can't accept Israel as a Jewish state. It, the notion of Jewish state is just very, it's kind of a, um, pin in their eyes <laughs> it's it, it doesn't compute it doesn't match up to their idea of a muslim country even to ch share land with the jews it's not acceptable jews can't own land so that's it that's it so the killing of israeli jews is just a continuum of getting the country back getting the land back they can never accept 
the notion of a Jewish state, only one Jewish state. Yet there are multitudes of Muslim states, <laughs> of Arab states. There are plenty, but the only single tiny Jewish state is kind of a needle in their eye. <laughs> so, but Israel, after proclaiming this is a Jewish state. They waged war against Israel in 1948 because they had to run this country down. And um, now, after conquering this place, called Israel. The explanation behind this is that uh, many Jews bought land from uh, sheikhs and uh, it was accepted and it was some part of the, the land was bought several times just in order to get it right. So the claim that Israel is occupying more and more countries pure law wrong and um, it's kind of um, <clears throat> now the, the 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 case for occupying is turned on on the other side now Israel is is blamed for occupying th uh, territory <laughs> now, <laughs> when they now own their land, uh, which they have bought in many cases in large extent, uh, now the Arabs, Arab country waged war against Israel. Israel won, sort of, in short terms, and now Israel is protecting some of the country that is not owned by them. After a long period, they left it to the Palestinian um, gov um, um, government, so to say. Palestinian is ruling those areas together with the Israeli Defense Force. Because it shouldn't be weaponized in those areas that the Palestinian is, is uh, owning. And you have uh, some small spots where the Jews have been building some uh, settlements. Um, the fact that they are they are building settlements is in their legal right. Every settlement have to be according to the ruling of uh, the parties. Not only Israel party, but together in the in the system, the juridical system, it, it is both Arabs and Jews. And many cases when the Jews have inherited some countries, some, some land, they are often given back to the rightful owners, which was Palestinians. But um, in this ruling by 1917 and 22 Sanremo and Balfour it's it's a very specific writing that Israel Jews since they have no country of their own and that was before Israel Israel was established in 1948 so the, the Jews was given a special permit to build and live in this area, the West Bank, because it's, they had no, nowhere else to go. That's how it was back in those times. They had no place and, <laughs> and uh, they were given special rights. Now, it's claimed by these BDS and leftists that they are occupying illegal uh, land. It's, it's just 
in a context of uh, time. It's just very wrong. It's a, it's a, it's a mistake to, cl to say something like that. And uh, since the border is uh, closed between Gaza and Israel, now they, they also say that Israel is uh, occupying Gaza. <laughs> I was uh, in a dispute with uh, some persons uh, on Facebook, which they said that Israel is occupying uh, Gaza. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just funny because Gaza have its own um, elections. Uh, Hamas is there and <laughs> they are driving the people there crazy because they only waging war against Israel many, many times. And um, now they claim that Jerusalem is occupied by Jews, Israel, which is very wrong. Yes, there is um, two sides to Jerusalem. You have the eastern and uh, western side. And the eastern side is um, ruled by Jordan. It's an agreement and on the Temple Mount, which they claim also that Israel is denying prayers there while the, pra <laughs> the, the, the so-called prayers and I would I would say in defense of the Muslim prayers the history is that they heaped up a lot of stones in their mosque um, Dome of the Rock and, um, and uh, those hooligans are spoiling the notion of, of uh, Islamic um, Muslim prayers. So why can't they use it as a holy place rather to, uh, to, uh, to bang up some stones in order to throw to, down to the Jews that are praying at the Wailing Wall and that are uh, visiting uh, the Temple Mount. But <laughs> you see, um, there will never be peace because uh, Jews are not allowed to pray when they are at, at the Temple uh, Mount. Why? Why are you defending that kind of crazy agreement that um, if a Jew come up, step up there, or a Christian for that matter, but uh, Christians have their own countries, but in their own land, in their own vicinity. It's, it's out of their uh, ability to pray. What is, what is the, <laughs> I think, <laughs> what, is the, what is the problem with people that are praying? Uh, even in my house, I would allow people to pray. Maybe not to the wrong God, but it's my house. <laughs> um, no, they can come and pray. Uh, I have my prayer place and uh, so will they. So they, today, uh, according to them, the day today, Holocaust, um, Holocaust um, memor memorandum, it's it's needed to say more in, enlarged about Holocaust because this situation today, the hatred to on Israel, the hatred, hatred on Jews, it's a continuum fight against against the, the certain people, and I will oppose that very much. I'm a Christian. I'm a believer and uh, religion should make people free to pray, to believe, to worship, to express. But when someone are denied, the war is coming, my friend. Be aware that the war are coming when you are limited or are limiting other people. So stay in peace, pray for Israel, bless Israel, and you will be blessed. It's a promise from the God Hashem of Israel.